so you too. Thanks for coming over. Your office. Wow, you yes, got, yes, is this yes. Your come in, come office? in. This is a beautiful office. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. So do, do you do you work here or is this your your whole office? Do you sit down here when you work? Sometimes. <laughs> what is the deal? <laughs> When I get bored, I move around. Alright, oh, I heard um, that you were very uh, interested in, um, well, Lego blogs and, 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 and stuff like that when you were growing up. So, were you a, a Barbie doll kind of girl? Uh, well, my brother was one year older than I am, so I pretty much had hand-me-down toys. Oh, uh, so, okay. Power Rangers, cars, but my mom did buy me a Barbie doll in a kitchen set. Oh wow! Like okay. the toy version of a kitchen, kitchen set. So which one, which one rocked your boat more? You prefer to? Sorry, what, what is that? <laughs> it's a bubble gun, but there we go. <laughs> Isn't it magical? Oh, this is like the least um, technologically inspired toy I've seen for the past one year. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> okay, wait. There's too many bubbles, you know? but you can't have too many bubbles. No, but I mean. Uh, wait, back to the question about uh, you know whether or not I preferred Barbie toys or, or, right. or cars or anything. Right. I, and all of them brought me happiness mm. right, as a kid and it was something to occupy my time with. So, oh, my mom did buy uh, my brother and I the first edition of Lego Mindstorm uh -huh. where it's just like Lego and you stack uh, Lego bricks on top of each other but it's connected to gear so you okay. can actually do moving robots. So I think I built my first robot when I was about like a... I don't know, maybe five years old or something, mm -hmm. where it was it would move and take a ball and throw it into a hoop. And it would score oh, every oh, single oh, time. Okay, wow. Yeah. Okay. So was that your first uh, inspiration of uh, your involvement in I don't know, engineering and technology so to speak? Um I guess you could say that, but you know when you're living through it, uh -huh. you don't really think that much into that's whatever true, you're that's doing. True. But so. it built a very good foundation and a base. Oh yeah, so you know. I was in robotics in primary school, right. and okay. like I won a competition then, which was a robot that actually uh, moved in the shape of a star. So when oh. it was attached a permanent marker, and it would just draw out a star on a piece of paper. Oh. And then later on in junior college, I took uh, computer science for A levels, and then continued with mm. the mathematical and programming side in university. Mm. So. There we oh, have it. Wow, yeah. so you see everything happens for a reason. The hand me down toys did you well. <laughs> did you a whole world of good for you, right? Because my mom loved me less than my brother. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, don't let your she mom says, kill it. She says that she loves us equally. I'm sure, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. All do. So um I, I hear that you're also in the area of um artificial intelligence. Oh yes, right? I am. Okay. So you have to forgive me because I've got no absolutely no idea yeah. what AI means. If you ask me what AI means, uh, I just... Let me just pause you there. Wow, Quaker appears! What on earth ah. is that? Oh my the Quaker is my spirit animal, by the way. So I like to be known as Annabelle Quaker Quark. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Annabelle Quaker Quark, is mm -hmm. he trying to hug someone in this picture? <laughs> it's, just, it's just really, really, really friendly. He looks very cute, my goodness. Yeah. Mm. I presume uh, you didn't draw this yourself as well. No, I did not. My friend actually commissioned a painter in China to do this oil painting for me. So All I was right. like, yeah. It's a beautiful picture. It hangs in my in my room, but I thought I would show you. It you looks know, fantastic. Check it. Right, so anyway, he's not he's not an AI guy, right? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> so what, what what can you tell me about uh, what you're doing now currently in the area of AI? Uh, most, mostly, you, um, I mean, with computer vision. Uh -huh. So we're dealing a lot with uh, CCTV feeds or video feeds and things like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, could you give me an example? What, what do you okay. mean by it? Let me give you an example of sure. how applicable it is. Right, because right. most people when they think about AI and computer vision, they think, oh, facial recognition, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's why I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I came across as... <laughs> no, you're not wrong. That's what the media likes to glorify. Right. Um, no, but I mean, you see, if uh, when someone reports it, a threat of okay. a suspicious looking person like that you see, so. like a terrorist, right. yes. Mm. The first thing that they'll see, say is, okay, is he a male or mm -hmm. is she a female? Mm -hmm. And then they'll describe the clothing like, oh, mm -hmm. he was wearing a red t-shirt and mm -hmm. like a black pants. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a CCTV feed would just be a normal video feed right. uh, unless you kind of label it as it comes in. Okay. So it's either you have your poor security guard looking through maybe 100 hours of video feeds just to find that one person mm -hmm. or you can have all the video feeds labeled oh. as they're coming in. Okay, right? label um, so automatically? When, yeah, Label? automatically. And uh, that's the beauty of AI. If, if my son, for example, were to yeah. go up mm -hmm. and wants to get involved in AI, what do you tell him? 
build your foundations. Okay. Because I mean, with uh, the research and developments happening today, the pace of technologies and and and, and research and development and everything is moving so fast. And I wouldn't say that you know you should rely on school to teach you everything that you know. Mm. Uh, but school does give a very good foundation. What about the area of AI? You were saying what motivated uh-huh. you to 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 come into this business? Uh, yeah. well, okay, so I spent two months in Africa back when I was about like nineteen or twenty years old, and um, you know I saw people there getting malaria and growing really gaunt in their faces from malaria uh, and fainting and wow, things like that. Okay. So what, what were you doing in Africa in the first place? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I just really? bought a plane ticket there and back and it was like two months there. I was oh like, my, yeah. Uh, uh, on your own? Yeah, on my own. It was a solo wow. trip. Wow. So I just didn't want to go to another place of shopping malls and everything. I want to experience something different. And which, that's fine. Which, which parts of Africa did you visit? Togo, West Africa. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So in Togo, I brought like a whole pack of doxycycline, which mm. is a, a anti-malaria pill that you have to eat every day. Right. And I was using, I was taking that. I was using like the mosquito repellent, which cost like what six dollars for a can for a spray. And uh, my my African friends there were like, you know, Annabelle, what is that? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Don't you know? Like you have malaria everywhere. You have mosquitoes everywhere. Don't you use like mosquito repellents? And right. it's like, no, we only have mosquito nets with holes in them that we sleep in at night. Right. Not even when you're moving around. Right. So, you know, while we push the frontiers of science and technology mm. and innovation, um, it, you need to make sure that it is accessible mm. and easy to use. Mm. Um, um, and it reaches the people who really need it the most. Absolutely. Because there are people yeah. there who are dying from malaria and it's a common thing for them and it is so preventable. Wow. Uh, and wow. that's what, one of the things that I'm trying to do with AI right mm. now. Through my new startup, we want to try and make AI affordable and easy to use. Wow. And you don't need to know hardware engineering to use a laptop. Mm. Same thing. You don't need to know AI to use AI, oh. and that's what I'm trying to do. Right. Try to make it really, really simple to use. That's very inspiring. Yeah. Welcome to level two. Wow, for level two. Yes. <laughs> Downstairs, we were talking about your involvement with Campus Party this year. Mm-hmm. So how 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 is it that you would uh, imagine this year's Campus Party to be like? I mean, the first time in Singapore, the first time in Asia. It's gonna be. Ah, awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Well, there is an uncertainty as to the first ever event, but then let's make it a good one. Right. Okay. So um, check this out. I'm adding emptiness to this cute little person right here. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he looks like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I just had a conversation with uh, another person the other day who yeah. sort of described campus party uh-huh. in uh, a very specific terms. So I was just, I don't know, I was just wondering if it's appropriate. So what he said was. Uh, in the era yeah. before Facebook and Twitter, where there was even before there was social media, there was campus party. That was ancient. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine a life without social media. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, but does does it really capture the essence of, of what we're trying to describe here? Oh, definitely. You have a mishmash of really awesome people who don't really take things too seriously. So mm. one thing that I love about social media is that we have so many awesome trolls with like Photoshop edits and just. Wow. Oh, lo, 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 lo. Oh. Uh, yeah right <laughs> okay. uh, so I mean as a byproduct of that uh, trolling culture mm-hmm. internet uh, right. thing you know so now you have live face to face trolling is that right oh yeah <laughs> you look <laughs> handsome <laughs> <Not> <laughs> hey, that's a you. up to up for, up for challenge definitely that's okay cool. let's have a round <laughs> what challenge Table tennis, of course. Oh, you've got a table tennis. Oh, what we call it? Yeah. Ping pong. <laughs> ping pong. Yeah. Okay. Great. So you can play ping pong as well. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, okay. you know, I yeah. Sometimes I get bored in office and I just come out here to whack some balls. And you want balls? <laughs> I got too aggressive right now. <laughs> You're so, always in game for fun. <laughs> I'm gonna practice my element of fun right now by like. Playing like this playing racing Xbox, game. Okay. Uh, so so I will see you later. Yeah. Great. We will see you at campus party then, Annabelle. Yeah. Great. Nice to meet you. you Thanks too. for coming over. Wow. Okay. See you at campus party.